welcome back to your weekend love reading this is going to be your love reading for december 1st through um december 4th okay so if you're new and you like my videos and you enjoy my readings please 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 do subscribe it helps uh, very much and also put a like on the video that also helps with the algorithm gets the videos out to more people for those who might need to see it um, or just enjoy tarot readings for Virgos. Okay, so if you're new, again, hit like, share, and subscribe. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you don't have to be a Virgo Sun to watch this reading. Um, yeah, and if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Okay, all right, Virgo, so let's get into this. So while I was shuffling, obviously, some cards fell out here. So I'm going to take these. Cupid's arrows, the runner, and the palm tree. Okay, I feel like the overall message here for this weekend is there's a little bit of indifference happening here, okay? Um, this kind of feels like a feeling of apathy or a sense of like feeling unfulfilled, okay? Um, refusing love offers, or someone is regretting not taking an opportunity and love, focusing on negative energy, someone feeling very self-absorbed within self, maybe a bit of depression or boredom. But I also feel like there's a lot of nostalgia here and someone having remorse about um, a love situation or an opportunity that was missed, okay? Now, is that you? It could be, it could be another person. It does show up here as a cancer okay so for some of you this could be a cancer person okay so let's get into this reading um and i just you know what i just said okay so i'm doing the reading on december 1st but actually by the time you hear this it's already going to be the second so if you're hearing this on the first it's going to be the energy for the first and the second of december to begin and then we go through to um, the third and the fourth. Okay, so Cuba's arrows is showing up here. So this is a message of having faith, love is coming. There's a surprise invitation or a meeting. And there also is possible hesitation. But let's get in and see what these messages are here. Okay, so again, you're looking at Cupid's arrows. So this is kind of like the eight of wands. There's some fast, positive messages coming in for you on Friday. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh, wow. Okay. So maybe from someone who lives at a distance or is in a foreign land. Okay, so it could be some news or information you're going to get. Cupid's arrows or a lover reaches out and trying to make plans with you or says something about moving forward. Um, Yeah, okay. Uh, something about travel or moving. Okay. You know what, you guys? Um, I feel in connection with this Four of Cups here. There's somebody here. I feel like there's somebody here who wants to take a chance with you. Okay. Maybe they had an opportunity with you before and that didn't work out or it was missed. All right, let me see here. Yes, Knight of Wands. Okay, we have Sagittarius and Aries energy also. There's so much passion already starting out, so much warmth. I feel like, again, we have two travel cards here. Oh, gosh. Um, Virgo, this really feels like someone's coming in here um, is making some kind of a lifestyle change definitely um very free spirited and very lusty energy coming towards you very lusty energy coming towards you um someone a shameless flirt or someone who's very sexy warm has a free spirit very brave very confident self-assured this is the energy that they're bringing in energetic and charming okay so Virgo, it looks like overall, you've got somebody here who's on Friday or at least Friday through Sunday is going to try to 
reach out to you with some type of surprise invitation or would like to meet up with you or connect with you. Someone very passionate. Yep, reunion. It could also be you're connecting with a friend as, all, as well, okay? But this is also the Three of Cups, again with the Cancer energy. Going from the Four of Cups to the Three, yeah, somebody's here trying to have another chance. You get an invitation to some kind of party or they invite you out, a reunion or a celebration, maybe engagement party, a wedding, a baby shower. It could be, it's a celebration. It's getting together, spending time together with friends and um, or a lover, okay? So I feel like Friday, the overall message is expect some kind of surprise invitation or going through the weekend or you know somebody waiting for you they they reach out or they connect with you because the three does represent communication you have two threes here so i do feel like you're going to hear from someone over this weekend actually just inviting you out maybe for a date or for some drinks or coffee or dinner oh i just saw the lovers here at the bottom with the page of cups and also the King of Swords. Okay, so hmm, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, so there's definitely, for some of you, there could be an apology from somebody. Um, sweet messages, text messages, very lovely. Uh, somebody telling you that they love you um, or they want to connect with you or they have um, a romantic interest in you. Okay. Um, Hmm. I mean, it's sweet. It's definitely a soulmate kind of energy. Usually the lovers feels like twin flame for me, but I don't feel that way with this here because this kind of feels new. For some of you, it's, it's not giving me an energy of a brand new person. It's giving me an energy of a new opportunity arriving, okay, with another person, right? So... Eh, you know, Virgo, it looks pretty nice. It feels very sweet. Um, and I feel like for those of you who kind of feel like, oh, love's never going to happen or there's isn't anyone interested in you, I feel like somebody is showing up here who's interested in you, okay? Um, and that's why the card and the message is to have faith, love is coming. So especially on Friday, but it could happen anytime over the weekend. So, hmm. Looks nice. There's some kind of event or getting together and I feel like somebody will put that out there toward, toward you and will be waiting to hear back from you. Um, this person is kind of like been thinking about it. They've had this on their mind to connect with you. Okay. So now you also have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. And then here's the eight of wands again. Okay. All right, so okay. Why do they give that song to me all the time? I must have like a a spirit who's a Brian Adams fan from way back in the day to keep giving me that song. I want to run to you. I feel like um, there is an energy of someone here who is also coming to the end of some kind of struggle, and it's it could be work or labor intensive. Um, or someone who's in this position of just feeling completely overburdened and is at the, at the end of this with the 10, as in the 10 of wands, double Sagittarius energy. And I feel like somebody's running to you again with the travel. It could be this person up here as well that we're talking about here. So there's just this, I feel like these days are kind of blending together. I feel like, um, I feel like somebody is, all right, let me just get the rest of these cards. Let me tell you what, Capricorn energy and Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's like as soon as someone has done some kind of commitment or work, it feels like a work thing. There's going to definitely be um, somebody running toward you here. All right, you're going to feel that energy. Again, travel, rushing towards you, movement. There's a new beginning happening here for sure with another person. Wow. 
judgment on the death card. Wow, this is a lot of like, someone's having an awakening. Um, seeking forgiveness, putting the past in the past. Um, now, I know some of you might be like, I'm not going back to that person. It may not be that person. It may be someone that you talk to and things just kind of had a failure to launch, just didn't get off the ground for whatever reason. And you might have written this person off and just said, oh, it's never gonna happen, or nothing is gonna come of that, or um, maybe you just felt like you weren't interested in someone, you gave it a chance and something didn't work out, but it feels like now it's gonna start working out. Now something here is going to start working out with another person. Okay, so I feel like whoever they are, they're running towards you, they're coming after you. Um, there's gonna be an opportunity, you might work with this person for some of you, but there's gonna be this opportunity over this weekend where there's kind of like, okay, I, I'm just hearing someone, another person say, listen, as soon as, let's get our, let's, let's work out our schedules, as soon as, let's figure out a schedule or a time, where we don't have any major commitments or anything like that, where we can come together. There's definitely plans being made, okay? Definitely plans being made to reconnect with this person. There's a renewal of, the, of a relationship here um, where, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself, where it felt like something couldn't get off the ground and now it's, there's the opportunity. The opportunities are arising here. Let me get one more card here. Okay, yeah, somebody is, um, whoever this person is, um, I just get a sense of someone who is like tremendously overburdened with a particular situation in their life, or they have these duties or responsibilities that they absolutely had to deal with first. They had to, they had a prior commitment or a prior engagement or something else that they could not get something off the ground with you. And now that's coming to an end here, okay? Seven of swords, or five of swords, defeat. Okay, change, walking away from something, it's done, it's over. Something is ended and here they come. Here they come towards you. I don't feel like this person is coming with bad intention. I feel like they're coming with good intention. There's definitely a very strong attraction that they have towards you. Um, and I see them being very open and vulnerable with you over the weekend, trying to connect with you. There's gonna be some drinks, a lot of flirting, um, a lot of passion, a lot of fun, a lot of good, good energy. I, f I feel like you're gonna feel really special to someone here over this weekend, okay? I, I get a sense that you're gonna feel like there a lot of attention coming towards you over the weekend, somebody, but this doesn't feel like, it feels like you would want this and that's why it's gonna feel good. You know how like sometimes you get attention from people that you're not really interested in. It's kind of like, oh, that feels nice, but that's not really, you know what I mean? No, this is someone that you, I feel like you're interested in that you, you're gonna get that like, <laughs> That you're gonna get that dopamine rush with all this this love. Is it love bombing? I don't feel like it's love bombing in a negative sense. You know, this feels more like genuine and authentic. Really good, really, really good because this person's coming in with this transparency. You understand? There's a difference when someone is just kind of like blowing you up with attention. And, and just like giving you a lot of attention, but you can tell there's fraudulent behavior behind that. And then there's someone who's giving you, you know, make help like build you up or makes you feel good and you can tell it's authentic. This feels very authentic over this weekend, okay? This doesn't feel fraudulent to me at all. You also have palm tree. So there could be somebody who's connected to palm trees or is in an area of palm tree. Palm tree represents flexibility as well, but also stability, permanence, endurance. Okay, so let me see. Maybe you live somewhere where there's palm trees or you have palm trees in your backyard or somebody else does. Let's see what else is going on. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Ace of Cups, here you go. There's a new love beginning happening absolutely over this weekend. <gasps> Two of Cups coming together with somebody. Maybe there's a trip. There's going to be a trip being planned or um, to connect to a place where there's palm trees. Okay, I know yesterday you had the boat, so I did feel like somebody was going on a cruise. So maybe there's like a cruise to a tropical area, but wow. All right, so you have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer here again. Okay, so there's a new beginning in a partnership, a love, a soulmate again, potential soulmate here, this person. Um, and don't worry if I don't, if, if you know who I'm talking about and I'll call out their sign, don't worry about it. You know, um, those are just for those of you who uh, need that extra um, validation about that. Um, I just feel like there's this new, emo an outpouring of love. That's really what it is. Just an outpouring of love over this weekend. Look at that. Page of Wands. Oh my gosh. Someone's like very crushy very crush crushy energy on you here someone very interested again good news swift news um love letters phone calls word of mouth uh somebody being i i'm seeing someone may have talked to this person and, and put in a good word about you for some of you um a fun playful active uh, like very energetic someone just really excited about you <laughs> my goodness okay here's a magician so again sagittarius and gemini virgo energy here this is manifestation this is like laying all our cards out on the table this is like a lot of communication um manifesting a desire i'm also seeing a work situation or self-employment someone might you might work with them or you might be self-employed or they're self-employed or both of you it feels like someone who's a really good talker as well like the conversation is going to flow and i feel like the conversation is going to be really good here's the fool yeah just complete freedom somebody coming in here also um they just don't care. I feel like the way they feel about you, the way they're showing up here, um, they're ready to meet you halfway or meet you in the middle. Uh, you know, it's it's a very mutual energy I'm picking up. Did I say Aquarius? I'm also feeling like someone... Um, I don't see them being committed to anybody or having anybody else. I see a new beginning happening here. And I see this person connecting with you and wanting to again with this travel or make some kind of plans um and also like whatever wherever the wind takes us let's do it that's the energy that i'm picking up um just a whole bunch of of um freedom and adventure maybe even like some foolishness somebody like a, being a fool for you i mean oh gosh you're getting so many great cards here for this weekend reading Virgo the ace of pentacles somebody you know two aces this new opportunity is coming here somebody wants an opportunity with you and it, it does like I said it, it feels like there was an opportunity before and it didn't it, all right so let me put it this way some of you you may not even know about this this person felt like they had an opportunity with you before or they wanted to take an opportunity with you before and they didn't jump on it you may just be completely unaware of this and for them they don't want to miss this chance again they don't want to miss they're they, they're taking this opportunity with you okay this person may have liked you for quite some time and never said anything you may not have known or they may have had an interest in you but they were waiting for the right time to say or uh, approach okay some of you some others of you you may already have had a connection with this person and again it just didn't get off the ground and now it's it's beginning the 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 opportunity in the process of forward movement starts over this weekend okay even if during the weekend it doesn't happen it, it, this is the spark. 
the spark begins and there's some kind of connection here that's getting made okay and you know I, I feel mostly that this is coming from another person here now I've called out signs if you're just like I don't know who this is um, if you don't know who it is you'll find out eventually so don't stress it right now because this reading is like kind of predictive of what's going forward and I feel like you you eventually will find out but I do feel like whoever this person is they're coming after this opportunity now they don't want to like this is their last chance I don't know and that's why it feels like somebody here wants to take this chance or get take a second chance with you or have another shot okay intuition well you already know the answer that you seek okay what does that mean Virgo what's going on here something in your intuition is telling you okay finances financial challenges are affecting this connection so for some of you if you're connected with this person before or even not there might have been um, a challenge uh, because either you work together and it was kind of like, hey, we don't shit where we eat. <laughs> and somebody, this other person's like, oh, to hell with it. I don't care. Um, for others, if you were connected with this person before, things just couldn't get off the ground because of a financial situation or somebody didn't have the money or they couldn't, they weren't capable of traveling for some reason. Okay. Um, it could have been something during the lockdowns as well. Let me see what else is going on. Oh, there you go. Now that's the third time I've said soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. This does not feel to me like a struggle. Okay. So if it's somebody new, yes, absolutely. We do have two aces here. So that does represent new beginnings. Um, or it's a new beginning or a new opportunity. The, the twin flame journey has already been established. It's been completed. And now we have leveled to a place where we can actually come into union together in a very good, because I don't feel like twin flames um, are ever really meant for the long term. I feel like those types of relationships, they need to evolve because I feel like the soulmate relationship is actually higher. And that's, that's a relationship that is for eternity that soulmate thing and it's beautiful and it's lovely and it's a it's a kind of connection where there like there's love and acceptance and respect that kind of thing twin flame relationships very very difficult and that's twin flame always feels to me like um you know when you put your turkey in the oven and then you take it out too soon it's not ready the soulmate relationship is when the the little thing pops up out of the turkey and the beeper goes off and time's up and it's done. It's good. Now we're ready to sit down and enjoy. And that's kind of, you know, I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I always feel that way. You know, um, I feel like soulmates are the complete evolvement of the twin flame struggle. So, you know, maybe this was a twin flame connection for you in the past and there's been a lot of healing and changing. Okay, forgiveness. Wow, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So that was part of the, the um, healing energy. I feel like there's a lot of forgiveness that has happened if this was a connection prior. And for those of you um, <laughs> where this is someone you don't know actually had a thing for you and is finally coming forward, I feel like this person is kind of like uh, forgiving themselves for not taking the opportunity before when when they feel like it was the right time maybe they chickened out or there was a challenge to the relationship or they they just couldn't here they are jumping on this now completely jumping on it yeah there was a little bit of time apart um with you and somebody else and that time apart actually was necessary i think it brought clarity of what another person needed to do as far as connecting with you okay so protected you are safe and divinely guided in this relationship i love this i really love this for you virgo i feel like this is the best weekend reading i don't know you be the judge because you watch them all um let me see what the love or are the romance angels messages are here Oh yeah, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that's a real big, strong message for you, Virgo, here, okay? Just remember, don't get disappointed or discouraged if the weekend comes and then 
it's passed and none of this has happened. I'm giving the message for the weekend, but this energy can play out through the month of December as well. Okay, but for a lot of you, you may feel this surge or this spark of this energy beginning on the weekend. Okay, but this is definitely a reconciliation something, a situation. Now, for some of you, I don't feel <laughs> this. All right, and I need to make this very clear, very clear. I, I, if, if you have like the reading I gave yesterday, a relationship that was very, 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 very abusive and someone was not respecting your boundaries. And I, I really get tired because of having to say this, because when I first started doing my readings back in 2016, um, here on YouTube, I never, ever talked about that narcissism thing. Never. That wasn't even really a thing. It's not that it didn't exist, but it really wasn't a thing. You know what I mean? It it, it 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 got so bad over the years that now I have to qualify my readings and I have to tell you guys like still and I know a lot of us readers are having to do this now. Abusive relationships are not the that that's not your person. Okay? And you have to be able to discern that, right? Um, I am giving a reading here and telling you there's going to be reconciliation with someone. I am not saying, oh, you're going to reconcile with your abuser. And, and, and then you get mad at me for saying that. I'm not saying that at all. I don't see any of that going on. And if there was some type of an abusive relationship, depending on the level of the malignancy, um, some people can heal. Okay, but see, at the end of the day, when you click off this reading, this is a strong caveat, you got to be the one to discern, right? Because I know some of you are like, going back to these people, or you're you're getting all excited, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, House of Virgo said that my person's healed. So I'm just going to accept them back willy nilly. No, that's bullshit. Nobody's fucking telling you to do that. Excuse my language. Nobody's telling you to do that. That would be really stupid for you to do that if you don't have evidence of that in your real life, okay? This here feels to me like a reconciliation with someone that was not mentally, verbally, physically abusing you or emotionally, okay? This feels like a reconciliation with someone where a situation just couldn't get off the ground for other normal various reasons, you know, like finances, like work, things like that, okay? Um, so if, you, if you're thinking about this reading and you're like, oh, well, my person was very, you know, abusive or things like that, you, don't, you need to click off this video, okay? Um, be, or, or change your mindset about it because I'm not talking about, I'm not talking to you about that person. I'm talking to you about someone where it feels more like a new romantic connection here that... Like I said, something just couldn't start. There's romantic feelings here. And for you, you will feel them or you're feeling them now. And it's your feelings are real and it, they're worth exploring. So I feel like for you, Virgo, you know, hold on, they're just telling me, let your friends help you. All right, so listen, you guys, this connection, hmm. It feels to me like the people you know or some friends, they know this person as well, okay? There is a connection to your friends. Um, I don't know how and I don't know in what way, but I feel like they know this person and their message here is to ask for and accept support from your friends. Okay, so for some of you, could this be the past person that was abusive? Yes. Could they be coming back? Yes. Um, could they be trying to reconnect with you? Yes, I said that in your reading yesterday. If you're struggling with that, you need to go talk to your friends if you get a reach out or you need to talk to people who support you in that situation so that you, um, you know, don't get sucked back into that situation again, okay? I don't know why I, I feel, so part of me is like trying to justify why I need to say this because there may have, like I said, that over the years, the whole, you know, narc thing has exploded, but maybe there is someone here that actually I'm channeling that really does need 
to be able to discern the difference between someone who's abusing you because it's a very cunning and baffling kind of a relationship and uh you know if you're someone who's like easily conned like you need to get into your critical thinking okay but i am so like we had that whole thing yesterday that reading yesterday so i feel like if you're struggling with that narc thing go back and listen to yesterday's reading i'm sure it will show up here at the end of this reading this feels more like a connection here where um, you know this person or they know you or there's a connection between friends and there's something that couldn't start before is now going to have an opportunity to start. Okay. So we have Year of the Dragon, Year of the Goat, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Horse. Oh, here's Rabbit again. Year of the Pig, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Rooster, and Year of the Snake. Okay. Let me just see what your dates are here and what signs are showing up. Okay, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so somebody was born in 1982, somebody was born in 1970. Something significant happened in 2018. Somebody is 53. Somebody's born to, uh, September 12th, also September 8th. Okay. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo again, and Libra. Okay, somebody is 42. Um, November 9th is a significant date. Hmm. Okay, 1992, another significant date. Could be a birth year. Um, all right, they're giving me the numbers 208. 208. 208. 208. Okay, we have Aries, Pisces, double Taurus. Okay, June 3rd, um, 1978. Hmm. Okay, September 14th, September 10th, and I'm also picking up the number, okay, 1011, 1011, and also, 6,000 or 600, 6,000 or 6,000, 6,000, six with three zeros. Okay, sorry if that was loud. Let me just get a couple of more messages from my Moon Pie Tarot deck and see what else is here and what else you need to know. Also, 1969. Okay, justice is served. Remember that thing you were sweating over? Yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now, Virgo, because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. The truth prevails. So if you have a court situation or there's an outcome or justice or a legal situation, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor, whatever this proceeding or situation is. Also, putting an effort into your spiritual beliefs traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path so what are your spiritual beliefs maybe putting in a lot of effort trying to understand what your beliefs are will you conform to those beliefs what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go and you're being asked here to put in the effort to really check yourself don't wreck yourself <laughs> i just had to say that okay also there's somebody spying online um, yeah, they're, they're kind of watching you or they're spying. Um, hmm. So they can make new plans. So they can make plans with you. What does that even mean? Or may, they might just be watching you from afar. Okay. Hmm. There's also new love beginning here. You are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Some of you have a motherly figure who's guiding you. Um, and a message from an admirer. I'm telling you, Virgo, there is definitely a new love start or a new beginning from someone 
or with someone, um, this person, I'm going to have to just say, somehow they see you, okay? So if you have them blocked and you think, oh, nobody can see me, well, get over yourself because people can find, people can find ways to get in the door if they want to see you or if they want to connect with you. So yeah, I do feel like somebody is watching you or trying to see what's going on with you. Um, somebody definitely wants to have some kind of connection with you, uh, definitely admiring you or has some kind of a crush or is wanting to do some kind of have a new start or make plans or um, maybe like I said, they're in a foreign land or connect with you from a foreign place or at a distance to you. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end your reading there for the weekend. It sounds kind of exciting. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of really felt that real strong energy to bring that topic up about the, you know, um, if someone's abusing you, and I'll say it again, that's not the person. That's not your person. I'll say it again. If someone is abusive or is abusing you, that is not your person. No, 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 no. That is a slam the door shut on that person's face and go find yourself someone who is good for you and healthy. Okay. And I do feel like someone here is showing up who, you know, I don't feel like you were really in a relationship with this person or even if you were, it, it wasn't, there wasn't like a, like a bad abusive kind of thing going on. Okay. I probably shouldn't keep repeating that word. I'll probably have to like bleep it out because I don't know if YouTube's going to they don't like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I'm going to leave this reading here with you for the weekend. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, do keep an eye out on my moonpytarot.com webpage website because I am going to offer some Christmas holiday special readings. Yeah. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend and I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>